Perspective is really important when you cover a Super Bowl like this. That's why I want to send it back to 41 Action News reporter Jordan Betts. She's live this morning for us in Kansas City. She got the perspective of someone who's been there since the start, Jordan. Since the very, very start, let's talk about Super Bowl number one. That's where the Kansas City Chiefs took on the Green Bay Packers. Sadly, we lost, but there was Kansas City native and radio legend Tom Hedrick. He is the voice of the Kansas City Chiefs for a short time, ended up also being the voice of the Kansas Jayhawks. And he was there at the very first Super Bowl. He was told he would be doing the Super Bowl number one's radio broadcast just days before the big game. The broadcaster said he'd always done play by play, but never color commentary so you could say the pressure was on it must have went well because Hedrick went on to call Super Bowl number two and four he says he believed that the Chiefs would go to the very when after seeing the Chiefs go to the very first Super Bowl that they'd eventually do it again I thought they would I, I in fact I was so arrogant I thought the Chiefs would be there every three or four years I didn't dream be 50 years to go between winning and then winning again and if you remember Super Bowl 54 with seven minutes, 36 seconds to go, the Chiefs are down 20 to 10. And I'm sitting to myself and telling my wife, I said, you know what? I said, you have to experience the pressure of that game first, and then you can win it. I wish we could air the entire interview that I, when I spoke with Tom because he's just such a cool guy and to talk about that very first Super Bowl. So, but then I also had to ask him, what are his predictions for tomorrow? His score prediction? He said 31-28. It's going to be a tight game. And he says, quote, it'll be the turnovers, the offensive line, and Patrick Mahomes that's going to be the difference. And I hope so because we want another win. Live in Kansas City, Jordan Betts, 41 Action News. Send it back to you, Taylor.